Hi, you're watching Telecom TV. And I'm currently joined by Mikhail Trabia, the CTIO of Orange, to discuss the NGMN Alliance Conference for 2022 and also some of the most important topics for Orange this year. Hi, Mikhail. Thank you very much for taking the time to speak to us today. So what are the main topics that you focused on today in your opening keynote and why were they so important to you? I was very happy to address the NGMN with the energy topic, with the environmental topic, which I believe the telecom industry as a whole has a lot to bring, not only to decrease our own emission, our own CO2 emission, and we do a lot. We have committed to be net zero carbon by 2040 uh, with our direct emission, our network, our IT, uh, but also with uh, what we call our scope tree, our indirect emission, which by the way represents 80% of uh, telecom uh, emission. And this encompasses field intervention, uh, network equipment, customer equipment, and this is a topic where we need to act. And I was happy to address this with the community to explain that the issue is not, with, is not linked to the traffic. Actually, our CO2 emissions are, are almost uh, independent of the traffic, but they are mainly driven by access, meaning coverage, number of sites, meaning, meaning equipment also, the customer equipment. And that's where we need to focus our efforts to get to our target. As you are at the heart of Orange's innovation and R&D efforts, what would you say are the most exciting tech developments that can help telecom networks be more energy efficient? Well, we have uh, uh, many improvements and I first want to congratulate uh, our vendors who are doing an amazing job to improve year after year uh, their equipment. And thanks to this innovation, we managed to uh, uh, keep our electrical consumption more or less flat, besides the fact that the traffic has been uh, uh, increased by 10 times in, depending on the country's five to 10 years, which is a great achievement. We also have some uh, uh, very big improvements uh, in terms of uh, run sharing, even if it's not directly linked to, to, to technology, but it's, it's a big driver and we promote this a lot. And last but not least, in terms of technology, that was your question, we are looking a lot at the liquid cooling, uh, which changes the way we uh, uh, operate our servers. Uh, and we believe this will bring a very uh, efficient way of uh, operating uh, all our uh, environment, technical environment for our network and our sites. Is this liquid cooling at your data centers? Liquid cooling at our data center, but also uh, with our, uh, you know, we, we have small data centers with our mobile sites or, or small sites that are uh, uh, everywhere in, uh, in, in a country in the network. So it's not only the big data center uh, that we could, uh, we could use liquid cooling. You built Piqueo, an experimental 5G standalone network in France about a year ago. And now, NEC and Mavenir just announced a massive MIMO deployment on this network. What have you learned from this experiment so far? And what else have you planned ahead? Yeah, we, we were very happy and excited to build this test network, which is PKO, which uh, represents uh, the, the network of the future. The, the way we, we see this network is uh, cloud-based, is a fully uh, software-based network, 5G SA, uh, automated with on-demand capabilities. And it, it will take a, a lot of efforts to get there. So that's why it was important to build this test network to learn and to help the ecosystem to build uh, uh, these capabilities. We have seen uh, from last year uh, that indeed integration was a key uh, element. And the, the topic that you mentioned I mean, it's a great achievement, the integration between Mavenir, uh, uh, Open RAN uh, software with NEC uh, RRU is, is really a very important step uh, and it shows how much uh, important integration is. We also have learned that security is important, tooling zones are important, and by the way, that also 
competencies, expertise, and that's what we also need to grow within our telco, but also uh, within the ecosystem. And I, I'm, I see very concretely today uh, this topic moving forward, and we are more and more confident that we are going to be able to deploy and roll out in uh, the years to come uh, such technologies. So when can we expect this experimental network to actually go live commercially? It's a test network indeed because it's, it's a full-fledged uh, uh, future network. But we are implementing, as of today, already part of these technologies in our network. For instance, uh, mentioning uh, cloud uh, uh, virtualized and cloud-based equipment, uh, we are implementing, as we speak, the future uh, core network, 5G SA core network, that is uh, uh, cloud-based. Uh, regarding open RAN technologies, we are preparing uh, for 2023 the introduction of open RAN within uh, our network. So it will be step by step, uh, and we will introduce as fast as we can uh, the elements and some elements of uh, this uh, uh, future uh, software-based network in our uh, 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 equipment in production. Mr. Travio, thank you very much for speaking to Telecom TV today. Thank you.